Hey guys, right here I have a 2013 BMW X1 S Drive 20i. And today I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it, show you the features inside and out. So here is the key fob. Let's go ahead and start it up first. There are welcome lights as you unlock the car if you leave the light switch on automatic. If you press and hold on the unlock button, you are able to roll down all four windows in the car simultaneously. And to roll them back up together, just press and hold on the lock button. Push button start system is standard on the E84 X1. So to start, insert the key fob into the slot right here, put your foot on the brake, and press the start button above the key slot. The facelifted E84 X1 in S Drive form gets an electric rack and pinion power steering system. The S-Drive 20i variant comes with a sports leather steering wheel with sport grips at 10 and 2. In Malaysia, the S-Drive 20i variant is paired to an 8-speed automatic transmission. Routed to the electronic gear lever on the center console, this transmission features a sport mode and a steptronic manual shifting function. Front and rear parking sensors are standard issue. For safety, the X1 receives 6 airbags, anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, dynamic stability control, dynamic traction control, dynamic brake lights, cornering brake control, a tire pressure monitoring system, and immobilizer, and isofix child seat anchor points for the outer two rear seats. Seventeen inch V spoke style three one eight light alloy rims are present on the S Drive twenty I variant. These rims are paired with run flat tires measuring two two five fifty R seventeen. Ventilated disc brakes are found all round, and the suspension is McPherson struts in front and a multi link setup out back. At the two thousand nine Frankfurt Motor Show, the first generation X one, codenamed E eighty four, debuted as BMW's smallest crossover SUV on sale a position it took over from the X3. It was previewed by the Concept X1 vehicle that was presented at the 2008 Paris Motor Show. The E84 X1 is related to the E91 3 Series Touring as they both share the same platform. In 2012, a facelift or life cycle impulse LCI in BMW speak was given to the E84 X1. Another minor update happened in 2014 before the E84 X1 was replaced by the F48 X1 in 2015. Unlike the E84 X1 which came standard with rear-wheel drive on certain variants, the F48 X1 switched to front-wheel drive setup. The E84 X1 forms the base for the 1E, an all-electric crossover SUV from Zenoro, a company owned by BMW Brilliance, which is BMW's joint venture in China with Brilliance Auto. This X1 is powered by BMW's N20 B20, 2-liter, dual of 8 cams, 16 valves, turbocharged inline-four petrol engine with Valvetronic variable valve lift, 
double Thanos variable valve timing, and high precision direct injection. It produces 181 horsepower at 5000 to 6250 rpm and 270 Nm of torque at 1250 to 4500 rpm. 0 to 100 km power takes 7.7 .7 seconds and the top speed is 205 km per hour. The fuel tank measures 63 liters and the combined fuel consumption for the X1S Drive 20i automatic is 6.7 liters per 100 km. Carbon dioxide emissions is 157 grams per kilometer, and the S-Drive tag indicates that this X1 is a rear-wheel drive vehicle. Exterior features of the X1 S-Drive 20i include automatic auto-leveling by xenon projector headlights, automatic wipers, LED daytime running lights, LED rear lights, LED rear number plate lights, front and rear fog lights, indicators on the side mirrors, body colored door handles and side mirrors, black kidney grill slats, black roof rails, and dual exhaust pipes. Speakers right there and right there, bottle holder and storage, mirror controls, window controls, all of the windows in this car are fully automatic in both directions, window lock, BMW door sills, And the driver's seat in this X1 S Drive 20i does get full powered adjustments with all of the controls located right down there together with your two person memory settings. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how she runs.
dual zone automatic climate control system, fan speed, automatic mode, recirculation, driver side temperature with your all button. All means if you have it turned on, the driver side will control the temperature for both sides, but if you turn it off, each side will have individual temperature controls. Front and rear defrost, air conditioning, different modes, passenger side temperature, and your maximum air conditioning button. Central locking. Eco Pro mode, parking sensors, dynamic stability control. This button activates or deactivates the automatic start-stop feature. If you do have the feature activated, the engine will momentarily shut off when you arrive at a stop, such as a traffic light or a traffic jam to save that extra bit of petrol or diesel depending on what the car is running on. Storage, power outlet, and your auxiliary and USB ports. From late 2013 onwards, the X1 S-Drive 20i is fitted with the BMW Navigation System Professional Head Unit. It comes with an 8.8-inch infotainment display, various media connectivity options, navigation, and a stereo speaker system with 5 speakers and 100 watts of power. The stock sound system available in this X1 is actually quite good. The 8.8 inch display right above is controlled using your set of controls located down the center console just behind the gear lever. In the middle, there is this knob that goes up, down, left, right, scrolls to left, scrolls to right and clicks down for enter. Ahead of the knob, media, radio, menu, telephone and navigation shortcut buttons and behind the knob, back and option buttons. Below the climate control panel on the dashboard, volume and power knob, eject button for the CD player which is located right here, 8 um, customizable buttons, you can program these 8 buttons to store say your favourite navigation address, your favourite contact, your favourite radio station and whatnot, and seat track buttons down here. Let's start with the menu that's right above and that is CD Multimedia. Click the knob down to select that particular option. And right here we are in your Bluetooth audio streaming menu with your current song playing information. Right above, artist, below, album, song title, you can go back a song and go forward a song. Click the knob to the left to bring up your list of external devices. If there is USB, auxiliary, Bluetooth audio streaming and whatnot. And click the knob to the left once more. You can access your CD, DVD menu, music collection, external devices, tone, under tone, bass treble, balance and fader, volume settings, and resetting the settings back to factory settings. And below, Bluetooth audio. Click the knob to the left once more, and we go back to the main menu. Now, if you did not want to click the knob left that many times to go back to the main menu, just hit the menu button straight away. Next up, radio, where you can access your FM AM menus, telephone, you can dial a number, look at your phone book, look at your call lists and whatnot. Navigation. Right here we are in your maps. If this part is highlighted, you can use the knob to zoom in and out. Click the knob to the left and you can change your map views. Zoom in and out. Enter your interactive map. Right here in the interactive map, use the knob to go up, down, left and right to go to your particular destination. Then click the knob down and you can bring up a list of options for your, inter for your interactive map. You can exit it, view north oriented, display destination and all that. Point you can also select points of interest, route criteria, spoken instructions, and guidance. Click the knob to left once more and you can enter destination, look at your address book, last destinations, points of interest, save journeys and all that. Under office you can store contacts, under connected drive you can bring up your mobile care number, inter internet settings, hotline, service menu, 
service status, and BMW apps. Vehicle information, where you can access your onboard computer, journey computer, vehicle status, and EcoPro tips if available. And lastly, settings, control display settings, time and date, language, units, tone, speed, lights, you can even perform a software update right here. Now, in any given menu, for example, your Bluetooth audio streaming menu, if you click the knob to the right, you can turn on split screen, turn off the display, transfer data via Bluetooth device, activate random, activate Bluetooth, import, export music data, and Bluetooth information. Depending on the menu, this list of um, options right here will change. So if you are in your navigation menu, it will bring up your navigation options. Power folding side mirrors. On the steering wheel, the left spoke, volume controls, voice control, and Bluetooth telephone control. On the right spoke, seat track buttons, different mode selection button, and this button actually goes between your automatic or manual recirculation modes. On the right stalk, wiper controls, press the button at the end of the wiper stalk to activate your automatic wipers. On the top left stalk, Indicator controls. Locate the BC button and this wheel right here to go through your multi-information display located within the instrument cluster. Use the BC button and you can go between range, average speed, average fuel consumption, turning the display off and back to your range. Use the wheel and you can bring up check control, service information, set the date, set the time, oil level and back to your check control. On the bottom left stall, cruise control. The steering wheel in this car is tilt and telescoping, adjust it using this lever right here. Cup holder, adjustable front center armrest. With a phone cradle. And below it, another cup holder, a bit of storage, and another power outlet. Auto dimming, rear view mirror. Front reading lights and front interior light. Sun visor for the driver's side does get a vanity mirror and a light and the driver does get a grip handle Alright, so I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now and continue with the rest of the tour. Window control, bottle holder, storage. The rear seat backs in this X1 do fold down. They split 40 20 40 when folding. And to fold them down, first make sure the headrests are all the way down. Then to fold down the outer two seat backs, locate the levers on the sides of the outer two rear headrests. 
and for the middle seat locate that strap to fold it down very simple you can use the same lever to adjust the angle of the seat back so you can have it more upright or more laid back depending on what you prefer I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7, which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is a bit of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for leg room, I get about this much. And I get about this much in terms of headroom. It is actually quite spacious back here. The seats are, are a little hard for my liking, but they're still comfortable enough. There are storage pockets on the front seat backs. Power outlet right down there. Rear center armrest. With cup holders. And right above, for both sides at the back, are grip handles with hooks. Rear reading lights and interior lights are right up there. Open up the rear hatch, go towards the rear hatch itself and locate a touch pad beneath the BMW badge. Boot space in the X1 is 420 litres with the rear seat backs in place and 1350 litres with the rear seat backs folded. To the left of the boot is a light and a storage strap, while to the right there is a power outlet. On both sides of the boot are storage areas, under the boot floor is storage, and under this storage area is the vehicle's battery. Adjustable headrests for the front and the outer two rear headrests. Window control, storage, bottle holder, and speakers. The front passenger seat in this X1 gets full powered adjustments as well, with the same set of adjustments as the driver's side, just that this side loses out on the memory settings.
not a very big glove box, but it is enough to store a few items. Grip handle for the front passenger. And the front passenger's sun visor gets a vanity mirror with a light as well. Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle to a video of this 2013 BMW X1 S Drive 20i. Thanks for watching and goodbye.